Coming up on Vegas Nation Blitz, Raiders training camp is in full swing. We'll bring you the latest from the team's headquarters. And the team is just days away from holding the very first preseason game inside Allegiant Stadium. We'll hear from the players about how excited they are to play in front of fans. I was like, dude, these people are crazy, man. And it's awesome to see that. Vegas Nation Blitz, presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable. Located in the One Summerlin Building in downtown Summerlin. Welcome in everyone to Vegas Nation Blitz, where we bring you all of your Raiders fast takes and smart coverage. I'm your host, Cassie Soto. Our top stories are brought to you by Capriotis. There's no better time than game time to score party favorites. Order online to get Capriotis party trays, box lunches, or large subs for the whole crew. Joining me now to talk about all things Raiders is Raiders beat writer for the Las Vegas Review Journal, Vinny Bonsignor. Vinny, we have been out here for a few weeks now at the Raiders training camp. Who has stood out to you so far? Well, uh, it's easy to talk about Derek Carr, uh, the young wide receivers, Henry Ruggs, Brian Edwards, but I've been really keying in on a couple of different spots, defensive line and offensive line. And along the offensive line, rookie Alex Leatherwood, uh, the 17th overall pick from the University of Alabama. I know the Raiders took a little bit of heat uh, for that pick, but going all the way back to his sophomore years, the Raiders had him on their radar. Uh, they liked him. They were keeping their fingers crossed that he was not going to escape their grasp in the draft, uh, and he was there at number 17. And he's been everything that they thought he was going to be to date. Now we'll see what happens when games actually start. That's coming here pretty quickly. Uh, but if, if it looks like he's going to be a guy that could be a fixture there for years to come at right tackle. Great, Vinny. Well, the, one of the biggest question marks coming into training camp was, of course, the defense needed a lot of help last year. Are you seeing some major changes already now as we get into the preseason? Yeah, we've written and talked about the defense a lot, haven't we? Uh, it's hard to tell only because you need to see it against an opponent. But it looks bigger, it looks faster, it looks more physical, it looks more organized. Uh, I think the coaching, you could hear it on the field. Um, so I think for all of those reasons, it's pointing in the right direction. But I'm hesitant to say yes until I actually see it on the field. We saw what happened last year. It was ugly. It wasn't good. The Raiders need to get that fixed. You figure they will, but it has to happen on the grass first. All right, Vinny, thank you so much. You got it. Vegas Nation Injury Brief, sponsored by Knockfee Injury Law. Let's take a look now at the Raiders injury report, starting with star tight end Darren Waller. Waller has not participated in practice since August 2nd, but we have seen him here at the facility rehabbing and working with team trainers, sort of taking things day by day. It seems when asked about Waller, head coach John Gruden wouldn't confirm whether the absence has been injury related, but didn't sound concerned about the tight end status, saying, quote, I think he's going to be OK. We're being very careful with him. Moving on to Raiders running back Jalen Richard. He missed the first few practices after being placed on the COVID-19 list. He came back only to suffer a foot injury that will keep him off the field for a few weeks. Let's go ahead and toss things over now to Leandre Fox in the Las Vegas Review Journal studio with the latest in social media. On Sunday, two of Raider Nation's finest were inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Those two being former quarterback and coach Tom Flores and defensive back Charles Woodson. The Raiders gave us a look at coach Tom Flores before the enshrinement ceremony. I want them to know that when I go in the hall, everybody goes with me. Sam. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> and of course, Raider Nation took social media by storm to celebrate the occasion. The Raiders also recently created their official TikTok account. They haven't posted anything as of yet, but we're going to keep a close eye on what kind of content the Silver and Black provide us as the season progresses. Listen to the Vegas Nation podcast three times a week for all your Raiders news, interviews, and game recaps during the season. Best of all, they're free and can be found wherever you find your podcasts. Vinny Bonsignor and Sam Gordon host First and Ten on Mondays. Takeaways features Heidi Fang on Wednesdays. And Fridays, you have Ed Graney and Adam Hill's unsportsmanlike conduct. Check it all out today on VegasNation.com. Around the League, sponsored by Pirate Plumbing, the masters of disasters. 
I'm Heidi Fang and the NFL preseason ramps up to full speed starting Thursday, August 12th. Joining me now to talk about some of what we can look forward to in those games is our NFL and Raiders writer Adam Hill. Adam, in any of these matchups that we have coming up, what one is most intriguing to you? I'm going to be tuned in to the Rams and the Chargers, mostly because it's the battle for Los Angeles. It's at SoFi Stadium. A lot of people want to see what that looks like with the fans in there and, and how it's going to play out uh, in the NFL level. So Rams, Chargers, battle for L.A. I know it doesn't mean much, but I'm pretty excited to see that. That being said, is there any position battle that you're really looking forward to seeing how it plays out this week? I hate to stick with the AFC West, but why not? It's the division that the Raiders play in. So let's absolutely take a look at what's going on with the Denver Broncos this week. Drew Locke, Teddy Bridgewater, they've been locked in a battle all camp. If you follow any of the beat writers up there, every single day you see who's winning the day, who's better that day, who's throwing interceptions. Now we get to see it in action. Drew Locke will start week one, Teddy Bridgewater week two, but we'll see both on the field this week. So I'm looking forward to that Broncos game. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, Heidi. Mic check. The first preseason game that will be played in front of fans is just days away, and no one is more excited than the Raiders themselves. Uh, but Raider Nation, uh, the Raider fans are special, and uh, to have them in Allegiant Stadium for the first time was, was very, very, very good. Awesome. I told some of the fans today, I'm like, man, y'all in line with the New Orleans Saints, because those fans in the Superdome are just as crazy and like just walking around the field you know it's the energy it's the vibe it's the intensity it's like man we missed football how the fans are when they show up for just a practice i cannot wait for first preseason game all the way to opening day because opening day i just i can only imagine what it's going to be like so i'm extremely excited Vegas Nation, the road ahead, sponsored by your Southern Nevada Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. The road ahead will lead the Raiders right here to Allegiant Stadium for the team's first ever preseason game inside of this building. Joining me now is Las Vegas Review Journal sports columnist Ed Graney. Ed, how important are these early reps? Now the team will be playing the Seahawks on Saturday. What's the what's the big deal here? You know, it's important for bubble guys, guys trying to make a team, guys on special teams. I mean, the starters, you want to get a few reps in, a series or two, and then the second game a little more. Then by the time they get the third exhibition, you cut those guys off mostly because the season is about to start but it's mostly guys right now Cassie rookies the Alex Leathers at Leatherwoods of the world who you need to see you know he's gonna start and then a lot of guys trying to make the team that's kind of what these exhibitions are about right and and you mentioned that what key position groups if any will you be looking at come Saturday against the Seahawks it starts with a D and ends with an E and means defense I'm looking at everybody uh, you know they just haven't been good at defense in so long so you have to look at defensively their secondary which was not good last year you know is Damon Arnett better how does Trayvon Mooring the, the rookie safety look the Casey Haywards they brought in. How much does Yannick Ngakwe play, the big time free agent? I'm going to look at everything defensively and then maybe shade over to the offense. But I think it's really important to see how these guys react defensively under Gus Bradley, their new uh, defensive coordinator. Well, the road ahead will also bring fans to this building. Ed, we saw a sneak peek on Sunday for a special training camp session. Fans will be in this building for the first preseason game. The Raiders went two and six, I believe, at home last they, year. Yeah, they, they won two games last year. Yeah, does that happen again with fans in the building? Well, I'd like. I'm, I'm good. You and I are coming as the media, and I, I'm glad because the prices on Saturday night happen to be the most expensive in all of preseason football. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be. I think it's be great. We, you and I saw fourteen thousand in here the other day for a practice. There's going to be a lot more than that on Saturday night. I don't know if there's going to be as much as when I was at Garth Brooks dancing and singing a few weeks ago. But I think it's going to be crazy for a uh, football game, an NFL game, the first one here with that many fans. I think it'll be. I think great atmosphere. I think every game here this year is going to be a great atmosphere. If not, there's something really wrong because it's a brand new stadium. It's the first time Raider fans, who are great fans, had the ability to come in here and watch their team. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Vegas Nation Blitz. We will be with you all season long, so be sure to tune in with us. For more Raiders coverage, head on over to VegasNation.com and be sure to tune in on Saturdays for Vegas Nation game day. We'll see you next time. Vegas Nation Blitz, presented by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable located in the one Summerlin building in downtown Summerlin.